Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about how to estimate pay-per-click campaign ROI with our PPC calculator. Uh, so I'm going to switch over here to the screen capture uh, to the pay-per-click um, calculator, and we'll take a look at that. Um, I'll link the page here to the PPC ROI calculator in the uh, video description below. Um, but if you're on the Tortoise and Hare software website, you can come to resources, offers, and find the PPC calculator and click on that. Um, okay, so on the PPC calculator here, there's a you know a few kind of values. Um, the first one is the estimated customer lifetime value. So when thinking about running a pay-per-click campaign, you definitely want to have an understanding of what kind of like your average customer's lifetime value is. So, you know, let's say they um, have like a $1,500 a month sort of customer and they stay with you for two years. Um, that's a $36,000 kind of total lifetime value. Um, so let's just put a 36,000 kind of lifetime value in. Um, and this is actually kind of a realistic um, number for like an MSP or like a local IT company. Um, and then so kind of our second number here is like the estimated conversion rate on landing page. So this one's kind of difficult to forecast um, because new advertisers usually kind of struggle a little bit and it takes a little bit of time optimizing the landing page, running kind of like, you know, uh, screen capture tests. Um, but like in general, I would say like a 3% number is like a decent sort of um, baseline to use as like, a, you know, something to start with. Um, if you're doing like a software conversion, like a content download for like an exchange for an email address, your conversion rate can go up. If you're asking for phone calls or contact form fills, then that's going to be a little bit of a, you know, harder sell. And that's usually where it comes down to more of like a 3%, you know, roughly conversion rate. Um, you know, as advertisers get better at refining their campaigns and their landing pages and all sorts of stuff like these conversion rates can kind of you know go up from there but in the three percent range is a good kind of starting baseline so we'll go with a three percent baseline there um, and let's just say here that you're um, converting 10% uh, of your leads so you have 10, 10 leads come in you know, five of those are just not a good fit. Four or five of them aren't ready to buy. Um, you know, find a tire kicker, uh, stuff like that. Um, so let's just say, you know, you get a 10% estimated lead to close rate. Um, you know, this can also go up to 30%, maybe 50%. Um, of course, you'll see like, you know, people that say they, um, close 90% of their leads, you know, which may be true, um, but there's usually other variables that go into that. Um, if you're only getting referrals, then yeah, you know, you might close higher than that. But like, as far as generating cold traffic off of the internet, then you definitely want to be more conservative in your estimate. So I'd say 10 to 30% in the estimated lead to close rate um, is a good baseline. Um, and let's just say you're spending 2500 a month on, you know, Google Ads or LinkedIn Ads, you know, something like that. Um, you can use like a, um, a tool called like the Google Keyword Planner to get an estimated average cost per click. Like I know a lot of um, clicks in the Jacksonville area for both like marketing services and IT services and just a lot of professional services in general go in the, you know, $15 average cost per click range. Um, you know, this average cost per click can vary pretty wildly um, by market. Uh, so you definitely need to do a little bit of homework with a tool like Google, Google Keyword Planner to get an F estimate on what you think, um, you know, CPCs are going to be. Um, you know, these might 
be different per platform. Um, a lot of the, you know, kind of people that start advertising, um, I recommend to start with Google because Google is very intent based. Um, and um, so I'm kind of basing that average CPC on Google cost. LinkedIn cost might be um, lower uh, cost per click, but you also might get a slightly lower co conversion rate on social. So, you know, we've you know, put some data in for kind of our sample simulation and I'll click on this estimate PPC ROI um, here and this gives us an estimate. We'll appro acquire approximately one half customer per month and that will result in $18,000 in revenue and 7.2 return ad on ad spend. Um, so you can kind of like tweak the numbers and run some simulations on you know what your potential ROI and inputs might be on um, your campaigns. So let's say we bumped up the you know monthly spend to five thousand dollars a month. You know that would get us you know an estimate of one full customer per month, um, and you know estimated revenue thirty six thousand um, and seven point two return on ad spend. You know. If you bump your um, lead to close rate up to 20% and um, kind of estimate it, then you bring on two customers a month, you make more money, higher return on ad spend. But let's say your conversion rate's 1.5 on the landing page. Okay, I guess this has to be whole numbers. So let's say it's a 2% conversion rate. You know, and then you just kind of can see how um, the various variables within um, the math that goes behind a pay-per-click campaign can kind of influence what you're doing. But this is something that definitely gives you like a baseline for what to expect when kind of launching a pay-per-click campaign and um, how your customer lifetime value, your close rates, conversion rates, spend, cost per click, things like that can like influence the success or failure of your campaigns. Um, and I kind of have some information here on the page about each of these uh, various metrics. Um, and then, you know, this is kind of an interesting um, consideration too. Um, so I did some um, numbers here in a simulation that I kind of plugged into an Excel spreadsheet um, based on a $5,000 a month PPC campaign. Um, 1500 $1, a month over a two year period for a total of 36,000 customer lifetime value. Um, and basically kind of forecasted out the revenue earned based with the expense. So let's just say that they're um, advertising over a two year period, but then, you know, these customers pay $1,500 a month for kind of a, um, you know, forward. Uh, looking time period so the uh, customers acquired will actually take full years to fully realize all the revenue earned from the uh, campaign um, so it kind of shows you like as you're onboarding new customers your you know revenue goes up over that time um, you know they pull the plug out on their PPC campaign in year two um, and that starts to go down if they didn't pull the plug you know it would just continue to grow over time um, but you know just you can kind of see that like this is roughly the a visualization of the front-loaded cash flow and um, growth of revenue over time um, for how kind of the, all that flows a um, couple of interesting notes based on this like cash flow analysis the monthly revenue exceeds the monthly spend by month four Total revenue generated exceeds the total PP in PPC investment by month six. Total estimated revenue generated is around 864,000 for this campaign, and the total PPC investment was 120,000 um, with a 7.2 return on ad spend. Um, so just kind of illustrates that like, you know, PPC is a very viable and effective way to acquire customers. It does take investment. That investment is front loaded, and um, you know you just have to plan for kind of like your cash flow 
when you're launching a PPC campaign because it is, you know, upfront investment with a deferred return, but, you know, can be very profitable and be a, you know, really solid tool in the tool belt to acquire new customers for your brand. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a summary of the PPC ROI calculator and how you can use that to estimate the potential leads um, for your company. So, hope you like this video. If you do, definitely subscribe to us here on YouTube. Uh, we create all sorts of uh, informative content to help you grow your brand and increase the confidence in making marketing investments um, for your technology company. Um, so again, thanks for watching. My name is Hunter Nelson with uh, Tortoise and Hare Software, and I'll see you next time.